In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my mission control system inside of Notion to manage my projects, tasks, and time using the Eisenhower matrix, context patching, and time blocking in order to stay productive and get things done. This mission control system is inside my LiveOS dashboard, both of which you can find the links to in the description below. Now let me walk you through the system and feel free to use whatever you see in this video as inspiration for your own Notion workspace. So firstly, here at the top, you have your active tasks. So everything that is in progress that you're currently working on and your calendar view. And then here at the bottom, you have a inbox for your tasks and your projects so you can process them and organize them. And then here on the right side, this is more for the bigger LiveOS dashboard because this integrates with your goal tracker. So you have the identity, the goal system, and then the projects and the tasks linked to one of these goals. So let me run you through an example. So when you have a new task, you just click on this button and let's say the task is to subscribe to this channel. Then you add that in, you can link it to a project. So I can link it to this top secret project and then you can process it. So essentially you want this inbox to be cleared. So you can process it according to the Eisenhower matrix, which identifies whether or not the task is important or urgent. So if it is important and it is urgent, then you need to do the task as soon as possible. If it is important but not urgent, then you need to decide when you're going to do it. Ideally, all of your time is spent in this quadrant because then you're being proactive, not reactive. Then if it is not important and it's not urgent, then just remove the task, delete it, if possible, or if it's not urgent, um, if it is urgent but it's not important, then ideally you delegate it to someone else. Ideally you have a VA. And here, the second one is for the state. So here you can identify, is this something for building, selling content? Like obviously you would just click on this and rename it to whatever type of state and context tasks you have. But let's say this is an admin task then you can add that in and then the time rating. So how long do you think the task is gonna take? So let's say this is gonna take one hour. And then once we've added in all of that information, it's processed and it is removed from the task inbox. And then that task will either show up in later or upcoming. So this is according to the status. So if the status of the task is stuck or later, it will show in this view. Otherwise, if it is next or now, it will show under upcoming. And then once it is in progress, it will move to the top section over here. So this is everything that is not in progress. It will show in this view, in this section. And over here, you can see you have a date option as well. So we have all of this information, the projects, the time rating, everything that we've just added, the Eisenhower matrix, as well as the estimated time, but as a number property. So you can see the total estimated time. And same with this one. And then here we have a date. So as soon as you change the status to in progress or you add a date to your task, it will move and it will show up in this view over here. But let's first just go through this. So this one shows everything that you need to do. So this is everything that is either urgent or important. So first clear this list and then you move on to the rest. This one shows all of your tasks grouped according to the Eisenhower matrix. So if I just change the status of this one back, then you'll see that it shows over here as well as the estimated time. This one is according to the state. So you can see, okay, I got one hour of admin tasks that I need to do. So an example of how this view could be useful is let's say you have a bunch of meetings and in between the calls, there's not enough time to get into deep work, but you can still get some stuff done. You would just go to this view, open up admin, and then just start going through this list. Maybe start with the ones that's gonna take the least amount of time and then you just go through this, or let's say you're in that bolt mode, you wanna bolt something, you just open up this toggle, go through these tasks, and you can do the same thing for the actions. So let's say you're on a call with your VA and you wanna delegate some stuff, you just open up this one and delegate it, or let's say tomorrow is an action day, you're just gonna complete all the important stuff, open up this toggle, go through this list. So this is just an easy way to batch the same state tasks together so that you don't context switch whether it's the action or the state itself. So yeah, these are really useful views to stop context switching. So just to quickly recap, you have this inbox where you dump all of your tasks and then you process them. They will move to later if the status is stuck or later. And then as you get closer and closer to doing that task, you just increase the status and then it will move to upcoming. And then everything that you need to do, whether it's important or urgent, will show here. So ideally this view is empty before you move on to the other stuff. Then you have the batch tasks according to the action as well as the state. 
and then also just a board view with a status. And as soon as a task moves to in progress, or if you add a date to a task, then it will disappear from the section and it will move here to the top. Now, before we get to this, let's also just go through this project section. So here you add in all of your projects and you can link them to goals as well as add a timeline. So when you're going to complete them and then it will show on the timeline over here. Then you have order. So this is just according to the status. Obviously you're gonna have less projects than tasks. So that's why this one doesn't have as many views, but this is just grouped according to the status. So if I add another one here, then I can change this one to now. So you'll see it is sorted according to the status, also showing the estimated time. And this is based off the tasks that is linked to the project. So if I go in here and let's say this one is three hours and then I link it to this new project, then you'll see that this will update and it will show three as well as the progress bar. And then as soon as you complete this task, the progress bar will obviously update. And then it will also show the amount of time taken. So inside of the task database entry, you have actual time. So you can add in how long this actually took. Like for example, you estimated it's gonna take 30 minutes, but actually it took one hour. So your time accuracy was 50%. And then that will also show here in this view if this is actually linked to one of the projects. So let's just link it. And then, yeah, you'll see that it will show here on this view. There we go. And then we have the status view. So this one is again, just a board view with your projects. You have the timeline view, all of your active projects. So if we change the status to in progress, then it will show here. And then this will also show the amount of tasks in this project and how many you've completed as well as the total progress. So let's actually move this one in here as well. So you can see, so this one took one hour so far and we've completed zero out of two of the tasks. And this is linked to this goal. And we can obviously just change the status here as well. And this one will show all of the tasks sorted according to the status, grouped according to the project, showing the estimated time for the project. So you can quickly see, okay, this project is gonna take one and a half hours to complete. So let me block out the one and a half hours of my day to just finish this project. So if we now go to all of our active tasks, so here we have a view showing all of our in-progress tasks where the status is in progress. And here you can also just add a date to them. So let's just do that. And as you can see, it shows here on the calendar. So this view shows all of our tasks that has a date property that is not completed yet. This one shows all of them, whether they're completed or not. And this one is just a monthly view of our tasks. This one obviously shows all of our in-progress tasks as well as the total estimated time. This one shows our weekly tasks. So everything that has a date in this week, also showing the estimated time. And then we have a view showing today's tasks and tomorrow's tasks. So if I move this task to today, then you'll see it shows up there. And then on the tomorrow view, you'll see this one. And this estimated time is really useful because you can see, okay, the estimated time for tomorrow is 10 hours, which is maybe not realistic. So let's cut back a little bit. Let's move the tasks to the next day or the day after so that it's a bit more realistic to actually complete them. And most likely if you're an entrepreneur, you underestimate how long tasks are gonna take. You think everything is gonna happen faster than it actually does. So this estimated time is useful for you to train your brain to accurately time block and manage your time and not add 30 minutes to a task if it's actually gonna take three hours because then it throws off your entire week <laughs> and your entire day when you plan your day. So yeah, that's really useful. And then time block according to that. And the way you do that is you click on this button and then it will link your tasks database to Notion Calendar. And as you can see, we got today and tomorrow's tasks. And what we can now do is just drag and drop it onto Notion Calendar and then time block it. So I'm gonna do this from one to 3 p.m. And most likely you would time block it according to the estimated time. So if this one is only gonna take 30 minutes, then you just time block 30 minutes and same with this one. And that way you can just easily time block your days. So you use this to process your tasks, sort them, prioritize them. And then once they're on your calendar, once they're in progress for today, tomorrow, then you can time block them on Notion Calendar. And something else you can do on Notion Calendar is you can click on this database and then you'll be able to see all of your tasks. So if we add in another task over here and let's also just add in all of this. So let's say this is a flow project, it can take three hours. 
process that, then it will show up here. So this will show all of your tasks that does not have a date. As you can see, grouped according to the status. And what you can do is then just drag and drop it onto Notion Calendar directly like that. And what you can also do is you can actually change the properties directly in Notion Calendar and just change the status to done when it's finished. And that way it will obviously disappear here. It will still show on this view. But yeah, that is the mission control system. So basically you're adding your new tasks and projects here at the bottom. You process them, you prioritize them and sort them. And then once the task has either the in-progress status or a date, it will show here at the top. And then here in the in-progress view, you can just drag and drop it onto your calendar. And then that will show in Notion Calendar where you can then time block all of your tasks. And then you also have a view showing today's tasks and tomorrow's tasks, as well as just your weekly tasks. And then this way you can plan your day. So the idea is you add in tasks for tomorrow, you go to Notion Calendar, you time block it, and then when you wake up tomorrow, it will be sorted according to the order of your tasks here in the today view. It will obviously show in Notion Calendar as well. And then you just complete them. So very simple, very straightforward. And then you can also obviously prioritize according to the state and also the action. So ideally tomorrow, let's say in the morning, you only focus on deep work tasks. And then later in the day, you do all of your admin tasks. So you can essentially time block the same context tasks together so that you don't context switch, so that you're in the same mindset when you complete this task, because that will just increase your productivity like 10 times, instead of going from a building task to a selling task, to content, to admin, like just batch them together and essentially use these views in order to do that. And again, from these views, you can also just drag and drop it onto the calendar so that's why the calendar is here. You can literally just drag and drop it and that way it will show. So what you could also do is just go to state, open up, let's say flow, and then just drag and drop these onto the same day, go to Notion calendar and then time block them in. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the mission control system. Again, the link to this template is in the description below, as well as this live voice dashboard in case you want to save yourself some time and just duplicate it to your notion with the click of a button. And if you want to learn more about this live voice dashboard, then check the video that's on the screen now for a full walkthrough of this life management system. I'll see you there.